Let's learn how to do a brioche right slanting decrease. I'm gonna first show you continental knitters, and if you're an English style knitter holding the yarn in your right hand, there's timestamps linked down below that you can skip ahead and watch the brioche right slanting decrease. Let's do it. Brioche right slanting decrease. You need to knit to two stitches before that stitch that you wanna be the decrease stitch. So if this stitch is the column that's gonna to lean to the right, you wanna work two stitches before it. Slip one knitwise. Slip the stitch and its yarn over. Knit one. Pass this stitch over. The stitch and its yarn over. Then swim, this stitch swims to the other needle. And this is a big shark. You're gonna slip the shark and its little shawl, that little yarn over, over that stitch for a brioche right slanting decrease. And the final thing you do is slip that stitch onto your right needle. All right, let's do that one more time. Brioche right slanting decrease. Slip one knitwise, knit one, pass the stitch over, swim to the shark, and the shark goes, eats that little baby, baby fish, and then swim over to the right needle, and you're done. That brioche right slanting decrease decreased two stitches, and it leans to the right. It looks like this. This is the column, the big shark, that's always eating two stitches at a time and leaning to the right. Let's look at that brioche right slanting decrease for you English style knitters. So if you hold the yarn in your right hand, we're gonna do the same thing. Slip one knitwise, the stitch and its little yarn over shawl. Knit one, pass that stitch over. You always bring that yarn over with the stitch. Swim to the big shark and the shark goes and eats that baby fish. Brioche right slanting decrease. One more time for you English style knitters. I just did a slip one yarn over. So I had my yarn in front, I slipped one, and the yarn is right here, ready to slip one knitwise, knit one, pass this stitch over, swim to the big shark, and don't forget to swim over to the right needle when you're all done and satisfied with your meal. That's the brioche right slanting decrease, and it looks just like that. It leans to the right, eating two stitches at a time. Stitchy, is your mind blown? You can knit all of your brioche stitches and impress your big brother. All these brioche techniques are really easy once you give them some practice. And if you wanna learn some more skills, you can watch some more of my free YouTube videos to learn how to weave in your ends for brioche knitting. And I have a whole brioche basics workshop on westknits.com. So if you wanna learn everything about two color brioche in the round, how to fix your mistakes, how to apply color to brioche knitting, you can uh, learn everything there is to know about brioche with brioche basics. And there's another cool workshop called West Tips, where I show all of these tips and tricks in my knitting that I wish I knew 15, 16 years ago when I started knitting. So there's a lot of fun uh, information and skills to learn on my West Knits workshops, and they're all online, and you can have them forever, watch them at your own pace. So lots of cool topics to learn about socks and brioche and color work. So all those are at westknits.com, and uh, keep on watching my tutorials here on YouTube because there's a lot more coming this year, and there's some really good resources uh, to complement your patterns and your own design projects. So are we, are we in love with brioche? What do you think, Stitch? Should we design a new brioche shawl with lots of decreases? Yeah, I think so. It's really tasty. We'll see you in the next video, and we'll learn some new things together.